Well, how is everyone this wonderful day? Um, I thought I'd get on here real quick this morning before I actually start working. Working. Mm, working. And um, because I've had a couple people, two people, asking me about how to do a a um, crazy quilt patch. One crazy quilt patch. So that's what I'm going to do. One way of doing one crazy quilt patch. I'm going to show you this morning the way I do it. Now the way I do it may not be the right way and it may not be the way professionals do it or any of that stuff. But I'll do it my way. <laughs> I do everything my way. Okay. Now. So I'll put you down here. I'm going to start with this. This is a 10 by 10. square 10 by 10 square I hope you can see it I don't know my I'm not, I'm not a lighting expert here see when you see a, like a real movie and stuff you see um oh how cute you you see in the credits that there's that there's all kind of all kind of professionals and they got one just for lighting well I don't I have one of those guys here. Look at that, how cute. This is a package of fabric scraps that I got from Kathy Cohen. Oh, thank goodness I didn't call her Karen. I swear, I don't know why I was calling her Karen. But these, she sent me more scraps. And I love her scraps. I love them. I love them. I love them. And the, the awesome thing about these scraps is she coordinated them all. She coordinated. They're all coordinated. Okay, let me take out those right there. Look at this little Campbell suit. I gotta have Miss Miss Cam Miss Campbell's gotta be in this. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I do a uh, crazy quilt patch. So Dang it, I left my scissor over here on this table. So I was in the process of, I was in the process of filling some orders. And then I had to sit down for a few minutes and take a, like a little rest. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, start with start in the middle. I'm going to start in the middle with this and I want to have maybe a piece like this. Yeah, I'm going to start with a piece like this. That probably don't make any sense, does it? So I'm going to take that piece right there and then I'm going to take all right, let's see. Then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take a piece off of here. All right, let's see. And let me just take... This is nice, soft fabric right there. Let me see. What should I do? What should I do? Okay, I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to... I'm going to stitch this piece here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch this piece right here. Maybe I don't want all of this. Maybe I only want this much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to lay this. See how I got that line there? I'm going to lay this piece. Let me iron it nice and flat. I'm going to stitch right along this line. So I'm going to go through this piece, this piece, and this piece, but I'm going to stitch right along that line because then it'll fold over like this. Okay, so I'm going to carry that over here. Follow me over to the sewing machine. And try not to look at my mess because it's personal. It's my personal mess. There. There. I'm going to put my phone up here. Okay, there. There's my personal mess. I'm going to scoot this over here. Oh, I gotta turn this thing on. 
Where's the on switch? There it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring I'm going to go over here and I'm going to stitch just oh, maybe a quarter of an inch or, or less or more or and this this is just how I do things. Like I say, it may be the right way, maybe not. Wait a minute. How come I'm pushing the button? light went on. Why? Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. I have it turned on. Happen. Everything's plugged in. The light is on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now looks good. Okay. All right, now. I guess it just needed a little time to warm up, maybe, because it's cold this morning. Okay, now that's good. That scared me for a minute. But this is a new machine, so I'm getting used to I'm getting used to all of the bells and whistles on it okay now I crinkled it up good thing I got my arm right there now see I just stitched that piece on right there so now I'll take another piece and I'll take this this solid red piece. Ooh, that's a pretty big piece, too. Thank you, Kathy. Um, ooh, that's a nice fabric. So I'm going to take this piece about this much, and I'm going to put that... I want that to be right here. I want that to be right here. So I'm going to... All I want to do is make a straight line. See, uh, this is not straight. Oops. This is not straight here, but, and this is straight. So I'm going to, so this doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put this and see how that fits right on there. And then you don't see that unstraightedness. Okay. So I'm gonna flip, flip it over here. And I'm going to stitch right along this line. Just right along that line is what I'm going to stitch. Along that, that edge of this solid red. I'm not going to worry about this down here. So I'm going to carry that over to the sewing machine again. Take you guys along with me. And um, then I'm going to, just like I said, I'm going to stitch right along that that edge. Okay, like I say, I'm getting to learn all about Freya. Freya's my machine here. I'm learning about her. And, um, because she is different than my old broken machine. 
And so, now, okay, see, I just stitched along that line. So now see how that works there? When I open that up, you don't have to iron it. You can even just finger press it along there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up this, um, this green square, the back, the foundation square. I'm going to get that thing f covered up. And so now maybe I'll take a piece of, got to get Miss Campbell in there. Isn't that cute? I love that piece of fabric. That is so gorgeous. I'm going to just cut, rip a piece of that off of here. And where should I put her? Maybe I'd want her right here. Or maybe I want her right here. Or maybe I want her, yeah, I want her right here. I think I want her just like this. I think that's what I want. Okay. That's what it's, that's where she's gonna live. She's gonna blow. And I'm gonna take her right here and I'm gonna put her. See, so this is gonna cover. I want it to go across these two pieces right here without leaving any spot here. So that's why I'm gonna put that edge right there. See there? Put that edge right there and I'm gonna stitch right along this here edge of Miss Campbell. Okay, Freya, are you ready for this? Miss Freya? Okay, thank you. You're a good sewing machine. You're a good girl, Freya. Okay. Oh, I keep looking for my foot pedal. It's not there because I'm using my push button. A push button machine is not any... This one does have a foot pedal if I want to use a foot pedal. But I am so happy it's got this little button that I can just have the button and um, push the button to go and push the button to stop. It's perfect. It is really awesome. And I did have a couple of people ask me even about this machine. Um, this machine came from Amazon, and so I put a link to this machine in my Amazon affiliate link in case any of you need a machine, um, a sewing machine. This is a brother, and right now I really love it. Oh my gosh, yes, I love it. And so now... Oopsie. I'm not doing very good, am I? Okay. Now, I need more experience in this, in this, whatever I'm doing. Okay, see there? Now, now then I got those ones in there. Now, maybe I'll put, I'm going over. This is going to be trimmed, though. See, this is going to be trimmed to match this 10 by 10 square. Now I have, ooh, see? Now this, this will go right here. See, and I've covered that, I don't see any green on this corner. Ooh, that goes right to that corner. And so now I want that to go, whoops, a little bit of green there. So I gotta, wait a minute, let me get that fixed. Let me fix that. Okay, so that's going to go like, let me see if that's going to work. Wait a minute. No, I have to have, I got to, let me see if this piece is any different. No, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same thing. Okay. So, okay, what I'll do then is I'm going to, hmm, I want that there. Okay, it's going to go there. I'll work on something else. I'll add something else to it. If I must. If I must. 
So I am going to go like this. I'm going to go like this because I want to get this piece over to the edge. I want this end to be over to the edge. Then this one here goes right to the edge of this one. So that's good because then I'll be able to put another piece there. So that's where I'm going to stitch this one is right along that. I got an ironing thing. I love ironing. Okay. Um, scoop my iron over there. Okay. Now we're going to carry this. Over to Freya. Come on, Freya, we're going to sew this now. Sorry to wake you up so early in the morning, Freya. I know you were still trying to sleep. Okay, so now we're going to, um, give that a little stitch all the way down. And see, there's a speedometer on here. So if I want it to sew faster, I can just go like that. If I want it to go slower, I can slide that down to go a little slower and so I'm trying to get a little straight row here a straight line okay now I'm I put that little oh I I didn't even turn you over here. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but anyway. I was going to say I put that little ender over there. To... So my... Okay. Now, gosh, I wish I could hear you all yelling at me. Turn the camera over. Okay, so now this fit perfectly right there. Okay. So, okay, so now I still have, okay, you know what I'm going to do already right here? I'm going to go over here onto my cutting area and I'm going to, I'm going to already cut these corners off these corners off see I'm gonna go ahead and cut them off what what's not you know just to edge up with this um, with the green foundation piece I'm gonna cut that just so I can see a little bit better about what I'm doing now these pieces that I cut off can still be used they can be used still on, on um, crumb quilting, crazy quilting still. And um, so they're not wasted. But see then now how that is coming along? Then all I, all I know is I still have to get a little bit of fabric over here, a little bit right here, and a little bit here. So now the pieces that I cut off, I wonder if, no, she won't fit there. You won't fit there, will you, girlfriend? Okay, this one here may be enough for this corner. Let me see. I think so. Well, we're going to find out. See, because I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure if that's going to fit perfectly or not. So I'm going to put it on there anyway. Okay, now this time turn the camera so you can see. See my bicycle right there? That's my bicycle. Okay, whoops. I can't sit on that. I slide on my bench. I had somebody ask me in a comment, isn't that bench kind of hard on your back? And um and it actually is not. It's not hard on my back at all. It actually, I love having this bench because I can, you know, slide back and forth. But I don't ever really sit here for a real long time either. I I get up and I move all over this craft room all the time, and then I go back and forth out to the other room, and so. 
So, no, my, um, it really doesn't bother my back at all. It, um, and I do have troubles with my back. I have, I have, um, uh, I'm 71, so I've got arthritis, you know, and, um, I have de degenerative disc disease, but these are things that are pretty natural in the aging process. And so, so I don't really have to, you know, it's not a big concern for me. Now, let's see, maybe, now see, I still have just, a, I just need a little piece right there. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to just put this tiny piece right here. See, because that's just a tiny piece of green there, right there. That needs to be covered up. So I'm going to just put that along that straight edge right there. I'm going to stitch right along there, around that piece. And it'll flip over and make exactly enough to cover that corner. So now I slide over here. Y'all come on with me. And... When I use these leaders and enders, I don't lose my thread. So many times, like yesterday when I was doing something, it's like, oh, I have to re-thread my machine because I pulled the thread out of the needle. But as long as I use a leader and an ender, I don't lose, I don't, my thread, my needle doesn't come unthreaded. Okay. So see, I just slide that over now and put my and I just put a couple stitches in there and then I snip that off of there and then we're back we're back over to this department and we will I'm gonna iron that piece down okay see now let me clip that let me go ahead and trim that so you can see I'll just use the scissor on this one and I'll trim that and then I'm going to trim I'll trim this little corner off trim that right there okay these little pieces like this I throw them in my shoe box over here these two little pieces, I'll probably throw them in my shoebox because in my shoebox is I'm saving all little bitty scraps that will then go in my, that's my dog bed stuffing. So nothing goes to waste. Okay, now, this is kind of pretty with all the, just all the reds. Now see there, I'm going to put this, I'm a, I want that, this here corner then I'm gonna put Miss Miss Campbell is gonna go there. So let's put her right there. Okay, now let's go back over to Freya. There she is. Now Freya's what I named my sewing machine. That's her name. Cars and sewing machines need names, always. So you should always name a new car because sometimes you have to talk to them and so they need a name. And so my sewing machine's name is Freya. All right. So now here we're back again with this corner. And press that down nice so it's correct and and um, now if you are in if you are doing going along with our Monday night um, learn with me series on on um, slow stitching 
you might like to have a square like this that you might want to work on. Let me see, I'm going to go ahead and cut that piece off of there. And, oh, I'm going to need another little piece right there and another little piece right here. Because you might want a square like this because what what I'm liking to do anyway here, here I made a blue square here, and I'm stitching, putting um, slow stitching things here. I did on this edge, I, I did here a feather stitch, and I put some French knots, and here I did a chain, and here I did a... Um, Okay, this is sort of like a lazy daisy, which is sort of using this same chain stitch. And this is a, what did we call that? See, I never know. A back stitch. This is a back stitch. I got a little cheat book here, because I don't remember these names. And so, and I don't know what I'll do after this, but I just keep putting stuff on there. But I did that the same way, just by adding the little fabrics and those ones were from a, a blue package that Kathy sent me okay now I'm gonna um now I need to get a piece right here okay all I have are the little bitty oh I didn't use a piece of this this one almost like that one isn't it okay so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna take a piece because this will be good. This will be good right here. And so, I tear fabric when I can. And I tear it when I can. I like to tear fabric. Okay, and so... Now... That's just a little bit off, that green piece there. I don't think I'll be so concerned. That one I will concern myself with that one. Okay, so here. When I put these down, I always remember to put pretty against pretty. So when you flip it over, it's pretty. So, and I want to here, I want to make sure I have this lined up on this piece. Um, right here, because this comes, this edge is where I want to make because that's the like shortest piece so I want to make sure that's right there and then that is where I'll carry it over to Freya and where'd she go? Oh there she is. I was looking in the screen and I couldn't see her. I couldn't see you Freya. You're so cute. Okay. I love Freya. Okay. Well, the bobbin's almost empty. I'm going to have to refill that bobbin pretty soon. And we are off to the races. We're off to the races right here. I could just sit at this sewing machine all day long. I could just sit here all day long and just stitch and stitch and stitch. I wouldn't get anything else done, but hey, it's no big deal. No big deal at all. I don't need to get things done. It's not important. Vacuum cleaner can sit in the middle of the living room floor forever. And it won't hurt that at all. Okay. Now, here we are again. Here we are again at this spot. In this, this department. So... And like I say, the extra pieces, now see, because I got my foundation piece, I know right where I want to cut that. And then these pieces here that I'm cutting off will not go to waste. Because we do crazy quilts, we do crumb quilts, we do, um, oh, and then the little one I showed you that I don't know what it's called, where I just lay pieces down and lay the, lay, um, lay the, ooh, lay the tool over it. That's where I use these little pieces like this. And they work fine. There's a video.
I don't know what it's named. I don't know what that. I don't know what the name of that video is I put up. Okay, let's see now. If I put this here, then that will cover cover that little piece right there. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay that right across there, so that straight edge is right here above this bare green spot and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stitch that. Oh, now see what I did? No, you didn't see what I did because, see, I forgot to go with that before I, before I cut the thread, I forgot to go on my, on my, um, on my ender. See, I gotta get more used to doing that. Because this will just unthread my machine, because then I just unthread my machine, and then I gotta rethread my machine. But it's got an automatic needle threader in it. So because it's got this automatic needle threader, just a minute, I gotta hold on to this thread, put this underneath here. And then it goes right onto the needle. It's supposed to. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now it's on the needle. And then I get this thread and put it right back under that little hook thing. I wish these. I could put my hands on a diet. Oh, there we go. Nope. Ooh. These new glasses. Don't fail me, new glasses. Got new glasses. I got new shoes. I have a new sewing machine. A new hair color. New fabric scraps. Okay, just bear with me here. Bear with. Oh. Let me get that under. Oh, it's. I'm put, trying to put it under the wrong place. Isn't that working? Just a minute. Hang on to your bridges, you guys. Okay, there it should it should be working now. goes right in there, Lizzie. Why isn't it snatching that thread? Hmm. Am I doing something wrong? Okay, just a minute. Oh, gracious me. Maybe I'm supposed to like I say, this is a new sewing machine. This is my friend Freya. And I'm trying to talk to her nicely so everything works good. Now, where did that... Oh, I think... Okay. Just a minute. Let me get this under here. I'm going to get this figured out. It's just different than my old machine. Because my old machine had a needle threader too, but it just worked a little bit different. Do I have to pull this back up? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Now it went through. Wow. So why? Why did it go through now and it wasn't going through before? Because I was doing the same thing. Oh, Elizabeth Marie. Elizabeth Marie. Elizabeth Marie. Okay. It's in there now. Okay. See what I have to do is get this in that. I always use a leader and an ender. Then I know my. Th once I pull this over... 
then it's got a hold of my thread so my thread won't come unthreaded because it's it that ender leader is holding it so now I can go now I can go and Okay, you, I'm sorry, you'll have to learn, deal with me while I'm learning this, but I am going to learn it. I'm going to learn everything about this machine. Now, see, and this is where I need, I'm going to pull that needle out of there, but I'm going to make sure I have this ender under there. And then I'm going to give a couple stitches in the ender. What the heck was that? My huckster. Papa, you okay in there? Yeah. Oh, you dropped the coffee pot? Did it break? No, it must not have broke. Okay. Whew. Sorry that I had that little bit of a hiccup there. But you all have to deal with me while I'm learning, when I learn new things, because I'm, I'm getting a little ancient. But you know what? You know how old I am? I'm 30. Because I was talking to a friend on telephone yesterday. And we decided that once once you hit age 50, you're over the hill. Okay? You're over the hill. So then everything is downhill from there. So um, everything's downhill after you re reach the age of 50. So now... That means when you're 51, you're actually 49. And when you're 52, you're actually 48. It just keeps going down and down and down. So I'm 70. I've been um, on the seven level 71 in this game of life. I'm on level 71. So that means I'm 21 years, uh, 21 levels that I've went since I was 50. So you take 21 away from 50, and that makes, what, 29? 29, 39, 49? Yeah, so I'm 29 years old. My age, I'm um, age 29. That's what I am, age 29. Okay, and so now that I have, now that I have my whole block is been crazy quilted, I'm going to go around the edge. I think I got enough thread in my bob and do that, I hope. Okay. My bobbin is running empty, but it's almost empty. But it's still good. It's still good. I think it'll make it. See, I'm learning this a little bit more so I can speed it up some. I'm just going to stitch around the edges just to hold them edges nice. Just to hold them nice. And... Right on that. I got that right on there. So let me snip that off. So that's it. That's it. There is my there is my 
block. It's a 10 by 10 block. And it's the crazy quilt. And I don't have my edges even here straight, but that's okay. One, it's okay because once you were to sew it again against something, or if if you were if you were going to just use this block as um, like a pillow covering or something, you would put that you would stitch something on there anyway. But see, there it is. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different pieces on there. And all done in reds and so then when I start putting um, stitching on here I can put put decorative stitches on the edges I can add um, different kind of maybe like um, like yo-yos on here I can add buttons on here I can add ribbons on here I can add so much onto this block so this is just gives you an idea of how how I do anyway how I um, fix my crazy quilt block and I started with that 10 by 10 foundation piece and just I started on with this middle one and I um, I just started adding them on and adding on blocks until I filled the whole thing up. And you seen how I trimmed them off as I was going. And I love it. I think it's beautiful. And so if this, like if I were to make a whole crazy quilt, I would stitch these two together see like that and then it would look like that then you wouldn't see the bad edge the crooked edge here because this two would get see because if I put them together like this and then stitched just like I put that then that you know then it, you wouldn't see the um the, you don't see the edges then so that's it that's how I do my crazy quilt block so I hope that helps some of you. Um, this is just the way I do it. You might find different ways of doing it on different shows. Now, sometimes, too, I'll put a crazy quilt block together with with even raw edges showing. And because um, I think I've showed you me doing them before. And I do that sometimes. But this one here doesn't show any raw edges. And so, you know, nor does this one. These don't, these don't have the raw edges. But I love, see, I've not just a little bit of stitching on here. But so far, even just that little bit of stitching, I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let's start our morning with You Are Stronger Than You Know. And let's open to, <gasps> take a deep breath. Okay. <gasps> oh, hi, Papa, you handsome critter. Yeah. Be fresh oh, I, yeah, I had already got some. I still got a little bit in there, but I'll take some when you get done with making it. Okay. okay. So, now, give you a kiss. Give you a kiss? We're on public television network. I love you, darling. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, y'all. <laughs> That's Papa. He just got up. He's making fresh coffee now. Okay, take a deep breath. Close your eyes, count to ten, and Im imagine better days. Imagine your life without so many problems. Picture re reaching that point of absolute peace. Erase all of your thoughts. Empty your mind completely. Take a deep breath and know nothing is as bad as it seems. Don't let your current situation trick you into believing that it will be this way forever. As surely as the sun rises, you will have a new day. You just have to be patient and focus, not on what you see, but you will soon see. Believe that better times will arrive. Believe that you will overcome what seemed at first to be insurmountable. Just take a deep breath. And that was written by Jessica Luckett. This book is You Are Stronger Than You Know, and it is words of hope and encouragement for some, someone living with a chronic illness. And because so many of us that are in the creative crafting world 
have taken on this crafting like a storm to get through some of our harder days. And so this book, too, I have put on my um, favorite things, Amazon favorite things affiliate link. So, and it should still be available. But, um, so if you're looking for that, that's where you can find that. And so I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and bring you back safely and soundly to the next video. God bless. Amen.